Welcome back to the Laser Laboratory, otherwise known as the Confluent Electronics Lab. I'm your host, Art McBain. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save and load custom settings using the Epilogue Engraver printer dialog. First, you'll notice that I have loaded a file I created previously. These are parts to assemble a cube that does not need any glue, and as such, it only works with certain printer settings that I determined previously. So, first off, I need to open the printer dialog and select Preferences. You'll notice that it has the defaults as before, so I need to go select my own to load. In the Advanced tab, we are presented with this configuration panel. In the configuration panel by default, it shows a folder containing some settings that I created for various materials such as agate, linoleum for stamps, and paper. Next, we will browse to the folder I created for this video, and we will open it to reveal one settings file. This is called Blocks 1 Inch Demo, and I want to load it. If we had more settings in this file, we can take a look at what's in them, and it would show us the job type, the raster settings, as well as the vector settings down here. It does not show all of the settings inside of the dialog, but some of the main ones. Next, we'll hit the load button here. If we go back to the general tab, you'll notice that the speed has changed to 15%, the power has changed to 100%, and 400 frequency, just as we saw in the advanced tab. If we wanted to keep these settings, we would hit the OK button at this point in time. If we go back into the preferences, we can tweak these settings further by changing the raster speed to 100% and the raster power to 100%. These do not change our saved settings files. If we wanted to do that or to save a separate settings file, we can go back to the advanced tab, click the save button, and at this point if we wanted to overwrite our existing file, we would select it here. If we wanted to create a new one, which I do, we will create and put a name down here and then select save. It now shows up in our file list and can be loaded in the future. If we instead wanted to go back to the settings we had before we made these changes, since we have not hit the OK button yet, we can select the cancel button and it will put them back to where they were before we loaded, before we made those changes. Thank you for watching.